What's going on YouTube? I'm Mariah Elise. This is Frame. And if you guys have been here before, you already know what we dig into. We dig into the art market and that's art market terminology, art market analysis, and really just all things art, getting into the culture of what the art world can really be like from my perspective. If this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you for joining us. If you've been with me time and time again, welcome back. You already know what we're about. Guys, if you watched my last video, you already know we were talking about the Phillips auction new now and what I put a focus on at the end of the video was Goodwin Champs and if you follow me on Instagram you already know that I was giving out my predictions of what I thought the lot reunion was going to do in auction and I was right about a few things but I was also wrong about a few things that's the first thing we're going to get into and the second thing that we're going to do is take a look at all the pieces that he's had in auction so far take a look at how they've performed and how his secondary market is comparing to his primary market as far as I can see and thirdly we're going to take a look at how he even got here how he even got to the secondary market without a lot of us really really knowing who he was or who he is on the primary market and take a look at how that's really going to affect his career and number before we're going to take a look at his present and his future, what he has coming up, what auctions, what exhibitions, what biennials, what he has coming up next that we can really use to keep up with him. Guys, before we even get started, if you've been watching my video so far and I'm adding some type of value to your life, give me a thumbs up. That thumbs up really helps. It keeps the algorithm in check and make sure that you guys keep seeing my videos and that my videos are getting out to other people. Also, click the subscribe button. Subscribe if you vibe, you already know what's up. All right, so let's get to point number one. In my last video at the end, I started talking about how I seen this piece reunion on auction. And at this point, we were about three days out from the auction and I was following it closely. Again, guys, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen my predictions. You would have seen how excited I was. You would have seen if I was right, if I was wrong in real time. But I'm gonna give it to you guys right now. I was wrong. <laughs> I was wrong about one thing, but I was also right about one thing. The thing that I was right about is absolutely the most important. That piece was estimated to go between six and 8,000 GBP. That's between about 11 and $12,000. So what I did to get my prediction is I looked at his past lots and seeing what percentage above the high estimate is he selling. And it was looking like between 120 and 250%. So I did a little bit more research and came up with what I thought he would sell between 18 and 25 thousand dollars so it gets to the end of the auction it gets to about the last 20 minutes it's at about twenty four thousand dollars i'm sitting in so much confidence like yeah i got the prediction right i'm it i'm the boss i know what's up there's no way it's gonna go over this but lo and behold the last few minutes a few bidders got in there and drove it all the way up to about fifty four thousand dollars i was I went crazy. I wasn't even in a place that I could really make a lot of noise, but I was like, oh my God, who is this guy? And how is he able to go four out of four, 100% sell through rate at auction and go 400% over the low estimate? I was flabbergasted. And when I seen that, I was like, okay, we have to really make a video about this guy and his market and what the hell was going on. So again, guys, I was right about it selling way above the estimate, but I think all of us were surprised to see it go 400% over the lowest. All right, guys, so what I'm gonna do now is grab my iPad, get on mutualarts.com and take a look at his auction history, just so you and I can have an indication of what he's been doing over the last two years, or really just since 2020 and since 2021, so that we know what type of market we're following in the future. So October 21st, 2020, he had the first piece to go to auction titled Escape with a Beer at Phillips London 20th Century and Contemporary Auction. That had an estimate, really like all of them, between six and 8,000 GBP, and it sold for 22,680 GBP. Next up, we have Memories, again with Phillips. It seems at this point like Phillips really has some confidence in Godwin Champs. So this lot was December 15, 2020. Again with the estimate between six and $8,000, it's selling for 18,900 GBP. Next up, we have the one that got away. Now this is in Phillips new now. My if you guys remember, this is the auction that I talked about in my very last video. This was my first introduction to you guys of who Godwin Champs is. Now, they estimated this one a little bit higher. It had a higher estimate, between eight and $12,000 USD. And it ended up selling for 22,680. All right, so we're climbing up a little bit. Now we got Sotheby saying, all right, okay, this guy's really performing. 
Let's go ahead and grab whatever the collectors are bringing us. Six to 8,000 GBP. Sells for 37 GBP. Okay. In Days of Revolution, which is in auction right now. So I urge you guys to go to Sotheby's and look at the Hong Kong auction and watch this lot for excitement. See what it does. But it's estimated right now between 60 and 80,000 HKD. All right. So just to know a little bit about HKD, that's the Hong Kong dollar. It's valued a lot less than the usd all right so now we're on to point number three we only have two points left now point number three we're talking about how did he even get here now i was really in question about where did this guy come from i know that he's an artist out of uganda i know that he has his bfa and i couldn't quite figure out how did he get to the point to where we didn't see him have a solid primary market but we're seeing him have a hundred percent sell-through rate on a secondary market that's mind blowing to me. That's insane. So I started doing a little bit of digging and of course I found some mess. I'm gonna link the mess because I really don't like being the one that gives you guys all the mess. I, I, don't, I don't like my YouTube being about that, but just know it's some stuff going on to where some people who were supposed to be responsible for his work, they were irresponsible with it and now it's an auction. Now the reason why I was questionable about this is because when you start to see these works that were created in 2018, 2019, 2020 and 2021 in auction someone has bought a bulk of his work they have relationship with the auction houses and they've brought it to auction and that's not the right way to handle an artist's career so we all see we're looking at Godwin Champs and we know we know that he clearly has the potential to be a pretty sound artist people are buying his work but what we also have to do is understand and understand the times that we're in and realize that black figurative work is a thing right now. It's really a thing. Now I'm not taking away from black figurative work at all. You guys at this point, you know I'm a stickler for integrity and I'm a stickler for people who choose to handle these artists in their careers this is not just their careers. Handle them with care. Handle their career with care and handle their life with care. Now, I do think Godwin Champs has a really, really, really good chance of having a solid primary market. I think that he has a lot of good people on his side. I think that he has a lot of people that believe in him. What I think I know is enough people who have enough say-so are watching his work and they enjoy it. And people are buying it. People like the work. They like the work, it's selling at auction, it's doing well. I would really, really like to see his primary market start to solidify. And that brings me to point four. What does he have coming up in the future? So as far as I know, he got invited to the Venice Biennial and that's good. I would love to see him in a biennial and I really, really can't wait to see what type of traction and what type of attention and what type of respect he's able to garner at the biennial. I know that he's probably working on some exhibitions. I know he probably has some more work in the chamber. I like him. I follow him on Instagram. I urge you guys to as well. And if you like his work, I urge you to just really, really keep up with him. Really speak well on his name. I have no idea who's following this channel. And if you are, and if you have some type of say so and some type of power, let's grab a hold of this. Let's get him some strong primary market support so that we can have a primary market for him or so that he can have a primary market for himself that sustains his secondary market so it doesn't get all off balance. All right, so that was really quick and steady for you guys today. Remember, Godwin Champs, I, I'm a, I love his work. And I like to see that he's doing well at auction. I like to see that he's gonna be in this biennial. Um, I really can't wait to see what his career does. He has a young career, he's a young guy, and I'm excited to watch him from this point on. I'm really excited to see how the world really receives him. I think that he has great potential. I think that he tells great stories. I think that he's connecting with the people um, on the streets that he's able to see and he's painting them. And I think that you can feel that connectability through his work. And so I really hope to see Godwin Champs do really well on both the primary and the secondary market. Since he's already solidifying his secondary market, now we just gotta really just put some weight, and a lot of weight I mean, on the primary market so they can sustain one another. All right guys, that's really all I have for you guys today. Don't forget, click the like button, 
I'm telling you guys, it does a lot for the algorithm. It does a lot for me. It does a lot for my channel. Subscribe if you vibe. That's incredibly helpful as well. I'm almost at a thousand subscribers. You guys have really been rocking with me and I just really want to let you know how much I appreciate it. Follow me on Instagram, guys. Follow me on Twitter. Again, this is Frame. I'm Mariah Elise. You guys be safe. I'm out.